Hi all, welcome to Vision Board Community. So today I'm inviting to Mohammed to sharing some insightful journey because he put a lot of hard work to make the transition and uh, like a, uh, it will be like if this podcast will give you more insight, whoever looking for a change or what are the things will help you to the making a more than 100% or packing more of a letter. Mohammed, welcome to the Vision Board uh, podcast. Good day. Thanks for yeah. inviting me. Yeah. Okay, Mohammed. Actually, you can share some uh, like an insightful thoughts or advice to the community. How you make the transition? Or I know what are the struggles you face, and uh, your your determination, your discipline will be the lead to getting more of a letter. Can you share some thoughts to the community? Yeah. Sure. Definitely. So mm-hmm. let me just uh, give a brief. Yeah, into of my background so that you know people can uh, relate uh, so uh, I have total around uh, four years of experience and uh, I uh, I was into uh, not into the state times in domain previously I was uh, like in like in Microsoft only but you know in a different field like power automate and power apps field but I you know uh, wanted to switch so I was you know looking at the various courses and those all things in the over, uh, over the uh, website uh, google and those all things so uh, previously i had uh, learned like a little bit about like what is data engineering and those all things but uh, like yeah this azure field was totally new to me so then i uh, you know first learned like a little bit of uh, azure data factory and uh, then like i got to know that we have to you know also uh, learn azure databricks as well in order okay. to you know complete uh, like end to end process so uh, like because uh, azure uh, data factory is for uh, like ingestion and then azure data bricks is for you know uh, all these transformations and filtrations so mm-hmm. yeah so this is where you know i got to know about data engineering and uh, then at the starting uh, of uh, when i started this you know preparation so it took me around you know because i had a prior uh, like knowledge a uh, little bit of knowledge from youtube and those all things mm-hmm. so it took me around you know uh three to four months consistently so uh to you know um grasp enough knowledge so that you know i can crack uh, any of the interviews okay. so at the starting uh i would say like uh, because i didn't knew sql as well and uh, mm-hmm. price also was new to me mm-hmm. so i started just like basic you know sql queries and price queries and mm-hmm. then, uh, like, uh, through your course, you know, I got to know, uh, like, in depth, like, uh, what all questions are, uh, you know, uh, mm-hmm. like, uh, are expected in the uh, interviews and, uh, for PricePark and SQL. So, mm-hmm. uh, once I uh, completed that, then uh, we, uh, like, I, you know, uh, as per, uh, like, uh, as per your guidance, like, I moved to uh, Azure Data Factory. And once I completed that, then I moved to Azure Data Bricks. So yeah, so uh, challenges, uh, uh, I would say like, because since we are not working in a real time, you know, uh, mm-hmm. a project in the uh, like company. So mm-hmm. I would say the challenges would be, you know, uh, uh, like practicing more uh, uh, the uh, type of scenarios because, you know, uh, the interviewer can, you know, uh, ask any type of scenarios from end to end. So okay. yeah, uh, like practicing uh various type of questions uh, you know all types of uh, expected questions scenario based questions def- uh, on the azure data factory side uh, like the optimizations you know mm-hmm. and uh, in the uh, like uh, data brick side uh, are like all kinds of transformations or whatever like uh, in the uh, since we are you know, following the medallion architecture so mm-hmm. what are the transformations in silver layer or you know bronze layer and gold mm-hmm. layer okay mm-hmm. So, uh, like, yeah, all kinds of uh, optimizations in the sense uh, in the data tech side, like, um, like bucketing, you know, and uh, then partitioning, and then this uh, joins, all kinds of joins, what kinds of joins to be used at what time, and how to analyze data skewness, how to, uh, you know, remove data skewness. So, yeah, these all, you know, uh, optimization uh, techniques, uh, we should have, uh, you know, proper knowledge, then only we can able to explain it to the interviewer and we can, you know, mm-hmm. pass it through. Yeah. 
exactly so it will be like a kind of because uh, today also i got a call they asked me they am completely beginner to sql and python but i think in the mohammed is a uh, like a role model for you are also completely exactly. new right uh, exactly but, exactly what consistency working on this one uh, like an again working on like a um, uh, like a, this is the reason you can able to crack the interviews right correct correct yeah mm -hmm. definitely we have to be consistent see if we, you know if we just think yeah yeah we'll switch and you know it will take around one year and you will not be able to switch so you mm -hmm. know uh, you have to be consistent at least for 3 to 4 months you know properly into this field uh, you know dedicate some 3 to 4 hours every day like you know, uh, apart from your uh, working time for uh, minimum 2 hours every day then only mm -hmm. you will be you know able to uh, like uh, practice every questions consistently yeah. Exactly, exactly. And Mohammed, one more question I just want to ask. Like whoever wants to make a transition, okay, because people are struggling, yeah. you also know people are struggling with the technical support or SQL, all domain, all the technologies. Definitely the transition will be possible, right? If it's possible or not. Yes, definitely. Because uh, if I can, you know, switch there, definitely anyone can switch. I think uh, uh, everything I think technology if you just work on any technology it seems like hard like from the outside but when you are into it and you know just uh, like do hands on on that and that will uh, you know it will be easy uh, like it will just take like 10 to 15 days and you know you will you know uh, feel pretty much uh, you know comfortable solving all the questions and those all things so yeah okay. e e e uh, you know anyone can uh, like uh, switch uh, depending on uh, whatever uh, their background is I think, yes, from my experience, I can say uh, confidently, yes. Okay, okay, I think your words will be giving more positivity to people who, who want to be switched into the Azure, right? Right, right, right. Okay. And one more last question. Any advice or like any suggestion you want to share with the people who want to be switched to data engineering domain, uh, like a difficulties or anything, want to be like a kind of advice or something? Yeah, uh, oh, advice... advice. Or yes, advice. Or... Yeah, yeah. Advice uh, would be, you know, uh, start like you know, uh, uh, like uh, it's a very good time, like uh, because this data engineering field, you know, is in uh, like very boom. So, like, uh, don't waste your time, you know, uh, like, uh, okay, I'll switch next year. So, you know, start now and then give lots of interviews, lots of lots of interviews because uh, at the starting initial phase, uh, like, even I was scared, you know, giving interviews, but, but yeah. your words, you know, motivated me that like, give some interviews and then you will experience, okay, what, where I'm lacking behind, okay. Exactly. Listen and until, yes. right? Some confidence we will get. So, that confidence I will grab the interviews. Correct, correct. So uh, uh, in the starting, you will receive lots of calls. So uh, don't go for, you know, higher companies, go for, you know, at least some startup companies as well, so that you can just uh, uh, remove your interview fear as well. And, you know, you can uh, uh, like uh, reality check also, there will be a reality check, okay, where I'm lagging and you know, where I can improve. So uh, though, uh, give lots of interviews and uh, you will fail uh, in the starting, but uh, yeah, two after three, four interviews, you will, you know, get a uh, knowledge. Okay, this is where all the you know questions are revolving around, and I need to drive the interview in this way. I need to you know set up my introduction. That is the you know main thing. Uh, while uh, you know in the interview, when you like give the architecture and where have you worked. So whatever you explain. Uh, in that two minutes or five minutes, that is where, you know, the remaining 45 minutes or 30 minutes that the interview will revolve around. So you mm -hmm. have to, you know, prepare yourself in that, uh, you know, introduction part. So uh, be, uh, you know, uh, like uh, improve your speaking skills also as well, you know, while giving the interview. So if yeah. you give interview, definitely everything will improve, you know. Just start giving interviews. Don't, uh, you know, wait for, okay, I'll give after three months uh, complete preparation, then only I'll give. Just prepare and midway, just try to give one, two interviews and see, okay, these are uh, the fields uh, where I'm, uh, you know, lacking behind. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Mohammed, for your time. I think your words will be inspiring in some of the people also. So I think all the yes, best. Yes. Definitely you can able to crack more interviews in the coming uh, months or like a coming year and all. I'm just giving you wishes also. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you. 
thank you you know for uh, uh, without your support it uh, wouldn't have, i wouldn't have you know cracked any of the interviews or you know got placed into any of the no actually so, uh, because we are a community right mohammed me everyone yes. in the community but you are consistent you are disciplined that is the main key point so i can able to help the people but the major portion 90% of the people side so you put lot of hard work keep the consistency connect with the people this is the main reason currently you can able to crack this much of offer letters so i'm just giving a congratulation again <laughs> thank you thank you so much devi thank you thank you yeah